going to show you some example of situations that look not fair, right? And then you're going to tell me whether it's a pity, but we can't do anything. Whether well, it's a pity, but we can't do anything, right? Or it's really unfair. Okay. The little girl is saying it's not fair. Why? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Or she made herself have chicken pox. She has chicken, uh, she has chicken pox. And then? Uh, and she, she can't do anything. Yeah, she can't do anything. Yeah, she can't do anything. You know, the sun is... The, the weather is very nice outside. She'd like to go get out, but she can't. So... Um, I think so pretty, but it's it's a day where we don't have to go to the She does a day kid have a It's not fair. Oh, no, it's very not fair. Okay. Well... It's what is the situation? Actually, we can't tell. We what can't is the situation? We can't tell. Then she go to bed. Somebody to is a child, right? A little girl. Oh, no, she has to go to bed. But she wants to play. Yeah. Uh, Othniel is saying that he should sleep whenever he wants to sleep. Yeah. Right? At the time he wants to sleep. Yeah, he can go to bed. Would that be fair? Yeah, that would be fair. That would be fair? I don't sleep at what time, right? Okay. But, wake up at, but, but if you sleep at any time you want, what if? What if you sleep? Very late and you can't get up in the morning. Yeah, you uh -huh. only get one hour of sleep. Then? What? Then you will be late for school. You will be late for school, okay. For school. Oh, then you also cannot focus in class. You cannot focus so, in class, alright. Why do you think your parents want you to sleep early? Maybe they're school tomorrow and they are afraid we can't wake up. Mm -hmm. They are afraid that you can't wake up in the morning. Okay, Greta? Because children need 10 hours of sleep a day. Oh, why? And they get to so they can have enough sleep. So they can have enough sleep. Is that right? Okay? Because they care about you. They care about you. I have a pet giraffe. Why can't I have a pet giraffe? <laughs> it's, not it's not fair. It's a pity, but we can't do anything about it. Okay. Okay. Why does she make the shoes? It's not fair. Yeah, it's really it's not, not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Okay. Did it, guys? Why does my team always lose? It's uh, not fair. It's a big team, but we can't do anything about it. So. On this one, you say it's really not fair, right? Yeah. And then you mentioned that maybe it's fair if they share equally. Am I right? So my next question would be, when we share things equally among everybody, does that make it fair? No. Yes. Wait. Mm, sometimes. Yeah. The Fairest Teacher of the all. Oh. By Jason Buckley. Albert worked in the city earning good money. But as he walked from his first class train compartment to work, he noticed that there were people in London who had very little money at all because they were sitting on the streets asking him for some of his. So one day, Albert decided that he was fed up with the whole business of people being so unequal. He was going to get a job where you could make a difference to that went back to university and trained to become a teacher. And when he started teaching and came to your school, he was determined that he was going to treat all of you equally. At the end of the year, he gave every single one of you the same report. Albert was pretty pleased that he'd done such a good job of treating all his students equally. So he was upset and very puzzled when every single one of you said in the same angry way the same thing. It's not fair. You treat us all the same. Same. Mm -hmm. You treat us same. all the same. But they say it's not fair. He's trying to be fair, right? He's trying to be equal. It's not fair. Why is not fair? Because you treat everybody the same. Yes. Same report, same, yeah. same grade, same, same intention, yes. same grade, 
same homework. Same why, why is it not fair? Oh, because it's all the same. There's nothing different about the class. What should a fair teacher do in order to be fair? Okay, this is a hard question. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because here he was trying to be equal. Am I right? Yes. Uh, he was trying to be equal Wait, with He was trying to be equal? Yes. But not fair. Yes. So what is fair? Hmm. I'll show you something. Look here. Up to the camera, this to the is camera. treating people equally. Not fair. But it's equal. It's equal, but you can't but one can't see, only two can. That's right. So it's not fair. It's equal. It's equal. Now how should it be fair? Oh I know, I know. I know. Freedom? You don't put the first one you don't put any marks. Yes. The second one you put one box. Yeah. Then the third one you put two boxes. Like this? Yes. Now is that fair? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. so on the left is what we call yes. equality. Equality. Equality means it's equal. Everybody equality. has the same. But sometimes it's not fair, like the teacher who was treating everybody equal. Right? Sometimes we have to do this. Why? Oh. This is called equity or fair, fairness. This is fair. Why? Up here. Oh, uh, because everybody gets to see the objective when why they come here. So that's a simple example. Let me show you a more difficult example. Oh. Right? Here. Up here? Yeah? Uh, okay, so One at a time? Up here. Uh, I think we have different, uh, like different bikes for them to ride around. Okay. Because that means everybody gets to ride around and that is fair. Okay, different bikes. Yeah. That's a good point. But, ah, yes, yeah. but the lady who is disabled can still not ride the bike. Uh -huh, so what should we do for her? Oh, I know the, the guy who is too tall, they can, she can push the disabled people. Okay. Or she can carry, like one hand carry a okay. two. What is fair? This is fair. Yes. That but explain to me. That everybody yes? gets to do the same thing. Everybody gets to do the same thing. Okay. okay. Yes. And how can they do the same thing? Everybody's comfortable and everybody gets what they want. So, so for the first one, everything is equal, yeah. but it is not fair. suitable yes. for every single one of them. Right. But this, but this one is suitable for everyone. Okay, so because it's suitable, it makes it fair? So the conclusion is, um, different people got different needs and they need or different, trait, um, they need different, different things. Yes, um, listen, it's important what is equal. Okay. So they need different needs to be equal because they are different. Okay. But what is trial? A trial is when you have a judge to decide what to do when somebody has done something wrong? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I get you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. so I'm going to give you an example uh, of a trial, and I want you to be the judge. Trial. I want you to decide at the end. How, what would you decide for the man? Okay. So let me let me tell you the story. So Thursday, 29th April at 11:25 a.m., Mr. Lim was caught by the security guard at the supermarket. He was stealing some bread from the shelf. After searching him, the security guard found some cheese and some cookies in his pocket. Stolen from the shop as well. Mr. Lim was taken to the police station okay? and he admitted immediately that he had stolen. He had stolen everything, right? So we are here. We are here together. We are here to say if if Mr. Lim is really guilty, if we have to punish him for this crime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, when you go for a trial, there are two sides. Can you? I won't be long, Your Honor. Your Honor is what they call the judge. It is obvious that Mr. Lim did not respect one of the most important laws in our country. Everyone knows that it is forbidden to steal. If everyone was doing what Mr. Lim did, that would create a mess. I hope you will condemn Mr. Lim. That would be an example for other people not to steal in the supermarkets. So now, defense. You might be surprised, Your Honor, but I do agree with the prosecution. It is true, stealing is forbidden. And Mr. Lim did admit that he had stolen. But I think it's important that you...
that you hear about Mr. Lim's situation. For the past three months, Mr. Lim has had no job and has had to look after his three children. On the 29th of April, it was the end of the month and Mr. Lim had no more money to buy food for his children. So he decided to steal some food. It was not for fun, I can tell you. He had no choice. Without this stolen food, his children would have nothing to eat. So I'm asking you not to condemn Mr. Lim and not to we punish don't. him. I like that I said, I changed the words, and not to punish him. Okay? Okay, now. Oh, thank you, David. <laughs> oh, thank you, David. That's so sweet. So, uh, you will let me go. Why? I think you I should let, because you will have no, because you will have no choice to steal. If not, right? If he doesn't, if he did steal any food, he would, his children would die. And then, and yeah. then if I know me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What if they do not punish him but reward him? Uh, so like the mm -hmm. school, right? Yeah. He doesn't have a job, they will reward him with a job. Uh -huh. But then See? after that he will get money so that he can buy food. Then he will get fine. Mm -hmm. I think we should I think we should let him go, but we must make sure he gets a job and then when he gets money we will make him pay a fine for stealing. Thank you. Uh, me. Okay, that sounds like an interesting um, idea. Um, yeah, okay. okay so I, I, I think you should be punished and shouldn't be given anything because there's a lot of poor people just like him, you know. Uh -huh. Listen, listen, listen that's interesting. interesting. What, what Dr. Hill is saying is interesting. Yeah, so I, there's a lot of poor people which is like him and mm -hmm. some of them they don't steal, you know, they that maybe they beg money on yeah. the street. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's Good for the poor people who is begging for money sitting on the streets. Uh, but Mr. Tan is stealing something for free. Mr. Lin. So okay. Yeah, Mr. Lin. Yeah. 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 So I think you should be punished. Like maybe not so heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a light punishment. Okay. Like uh, a jail for one week. Because stealing is still under law. It's still, uh, it's it's still, still wrong. Yeah, it's still right. wrong. Okay, yeah. interesting. Interesting point of view. Yeah. Okay, I, I like your point of view. I like my view, your idea, and uh, Yang, who's other than that song. Yeah, I learn. And maybe just loan him some money. Okay. But then he, he had, like, had no freedom. Why don't you give him a good job so that he'll earn money quickly? Yeah. Now, let's finish the session today. First, I want to thank you because I think today you've been discussing very nicely. Yeah. What we've been talking about today is how things can be fair or unfair and what is justice. Justice? The justice! Last, the last example... Like, no, no, wait, wait. I'm, I'm just, just finishing. Like. The last example we took is about justice. Mm -hmm. When we have a, a, a judge mm -hmm. who decides what to do, how to punish, how to not punish, that's called justice. Now, in every country, there's the justice system. So I just want to leave you with this in your mind and think about it. You can discuss with your parents this topic if you want, that will be interesting. Ask them some questions, you know, like the last situation, you know. Yeah. What would happen if somebody steals, but then he steals to feed his children? Should we punish or not punish? Ask your parents, what do you think?